Hey everybody. Okay, um, I'm not gonna name this person by name because he was pretty respectable in his discussions with me, but I'm going to call him Mr. Harvard Major, Physics Major, Harvard Physics Major. And he stated that gravity is a law. And by definition, here you go, there's Wikipedia. Gravity is most accurately described by the general theory of relativity proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915, which describes gravity not as a force, but as a consequence of the curvature of space-time cosmos by the uneven distribution of mass energy. So right there, it is a law based on a theory which makes it a theory. Does that clear things up? Gravity is a theory. There is no proof that gravity exists. You don't know, drop a rock and it falls to the ground and proves that gravity exists. Okay, so let's jump to right here. Gravity, it's only a theory. This is the National Center for Science Education. The National Center for Science Education, people. All physics textbooks textbook should include this warning label. This textbook con contains material on gravity. Universal gravity is a theory, not a fact, regarding the natural law of attraction. This material should be approached with an open mind, studied carefully, and critically considered. The universal theory of gravity is often taught in schools as a fact when in fact it is not even a good theory. Again, the universal theory of gravity is often taught in schools as a fact when in fact it is not even a good theory. Okay, blah blah blah, they, they talk about space still on this one right here, but you know, you get some truth and lies. You know how that goes. They give you some truth, and then they give you some lies, so... There's your truth right there. Uh... The music on this... Since I've been getting hit with, uh... Copyright strikes, or whatever... Is going to be provided by me. It's gonna be a loop of my own, uh, music. So, uh, the music is produced by Anthony B. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, little video. Take care, everybody.